Mark Hogan here with Broken Arrow Farms. Today we're taking a little tour of our hatching facilities here at the farm. And right now we're in one of our uh, hand barns. We have three of these barns. There's about 250 pheasants in here. Uh, right now we've got about, uh, uh, about 200 and some hens in here and about 25, 30 roosters. And these birds have been in here since a little bit after Christmas time. Uh, what we do is we put them in here and we put the lights on timers. And uh, it tricks the birds into thinking it's spring and they start uh, laying. So by the end of January, we'll have, uh, they've already been uh, picking up eggs by the end of January. And we pick up eggs twice a day. And when you do that, they'll continue to lay, and they won't try to make a nest and sit on the eggs. They'll just keep laying. These birds will lay about, oh, between eight, we have 800 laying hens total in three barns, and we'll pick up probably 40, about 40,000 eggs here this spring. So uh, these gals lay a, a lot of eggs for us. You can see we have, uh, do have some nesting boxes there on the wall and uh, uh, some will lay in there, but most of the, most of the birds will just, uh, just lay on the ground here. Uh, they usually find a favorite spot, and several of them will lay in the same spot. There's a couple eggs right there. And this barn is all heated with in-floor heat, so it stays, it's probably 60 degrees in here right now. Uh, just stays nice and warm year round. Uh, it's just free flowing well water that runs through the floor, so it's uh, kind of a cool way to heat the buildings. So this is one of our barns. We'll pick the eggs up here. We, uh, we come in and just gather them in a basket. And there's some of the eggs from the first barn I was in. I'll pick these eggs up and then we'll go over to the, uh, to the hatching room. But one interesting thing is, uh, you know, by tricking these birds, artificially lighting them up and tricking them into thinking it's spring, uh, we start gathering eggs, you know, end of January. And here it is, the, almost the end of March, and we've got two hatches already completed. And uh, um, we'll be hatching about every week, whereas in the wild, these birds would be laying late April, laying in May, and hatching chicks in June. So, you know, we get a, a huge jump on the, on the wild birds here as far as getting our birds up to, to age and having them ready for next fall. So, uh, uh, plus we, as our weather has been so bad here this winter and spring, uh, the nice thing is we're in indoor conditions here and the eggs stay clean and, you know, it's just a real nice way to to do it with, uh, with these heated barns. Okay, we picked up the eggs from uh, all the barns. We've got about 400 eggs here now. And uh, now the process is to put them through an egg wash and to also disinfect them. And uh, just trying to remove the bacteria and uh, just try to, try to get the most sanitary conditions we can here. And we'll run those through, and then we take them over and store them in this cooler. And right now there's about uh, four or 5,000 eggs in here right now. And they're kept at 55 degrees in this cooler. And at that temperature, the eggs will stay uh, dormant, will not start to incubate. And uh, then we'll keep a, about a week's worth of eggs and set our incubators once a week. care of any of the broken eggs he gets to 
keep them up. Loves this job. And these are our incubators here. We have uh, eight individual incubators here. And each one of these holds about 650 eggs. And its purpose is to rotate the eggs every couple hours. Keep it at a standard uh, 100 degrees in there and about 50% humidity. And every two hours those trays will rotate. And an egg will stay in these incubators for 20 days. And then we, uh, what we call candling the eggs, we put a light on them and check their fertility. And then we move them into these other uh, similar machines over here and they basically just have a, uh, a screen over the top of them so once the, the birds hatch they, they stay in there. Uh, once they hatch we then move them into a little drying box here to, so that they dry off completely, get their legs underneath them. And then we take them into the next room here We have about uh, 1,200 right here that hatched just the last couple days. Um, and then over on this side of the pen, we have about 300 birds that hatched about 10 days ago. And these are already just starting to fly a little bit. See, we have nets over the top here to keep them contained. But uh, these birds are about 10 days old. We'll go inside the pen here and look at them a little closer. And you see these chicks are drinking out of their nipple drinkers there. And from even a day old, they figure out you know, where their water source is in that, in that nipple drinker there. You can see in here, uh, again, we have heat in the floors and on the walls here, and it's free-flowing artesian water that just runs through from a well, no pump or anything. Keeps this room about 90 degrees in here, yeah, which is perfect for these chicks. And then we do have some supplemental brooder heaters here uh, once the chicks are just born, just to give them a little extra heat. But for the most part, they're, uh, they're just happy with, uh, with just the floor heat. Keeps the bedding real dry. Um, just a real nice way to heat these to heat these rooms. Uh, you can see there's lots of bodies. And, oh, there's uh, there's radar. Radar's are uh, was hired on to be a mouser, but you can see she's pretty uh, she's pretty she's pretty much a pacifist. Uh, she likes to go through here and just lick the, lick the chicks, make sure they're okay. Just taking a break, watching the chicks. Kitty, 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 kitty. with their tail. This here is the 10 week old, or 10 day old uh, chicks on this side. You can see it doesn't take them long to, to grow up. These are just starting to fly a little bit. Just have to put the net down on these so they don't get out. But they're on the same 
nipple waters and then we just raise them up as they get a little bigger. Just keep raising them. Pretty nice way to run the water so they don't make a big mess. And as these chicks get a little older, they'll make their way into a, another bigger barn uh, through that door. And eventually they'll make their way to the outside pens and they'll actually they'll eventually be uh, completely outdoors. Um, but they'll spend about the next four weeks indoors, probably five or six weeks actually right now until it gets nice out. And then they'll eventually get to go to the outdoor pens and, uh, and that's where they'll grow to uh, be adults and be used this fall. So that's pretty much our operation at this point. Hope you enjoy it.